Hello, my name is Ruben Östlund and I'm a film director and screenwriter from Sweden, from Göteborg. Um, I have been working with fiction films for 11 years now, um, but I started with filmmaking when I was around uh, 25. I was making ski films, filming skiing uh, in ski resorts in Europe and also a little bit in North America. And uh, well, it's just fantastic to be here and have a retrospective now. Actually, my short films uh, have been made in between the feature films. So I, my first uh, film that I made after film school was The Guitar Mongoloid, uh, my first feature film. Um, but after I made Guitar Mongoloid, I made this film that was about a group of friends that were on a bridge when one of them are saying that they should jump from the bridge. And when they get up on the bridge, the bridge is so much higher when you are up on it, when, but when you are watching it from below. And I think I was interested in group behavior uh, when I did that film. I was interested in human beings' fear of losing face in front of each other. And I was inspired of, uh, there was an adventurer in Sweden that was called Engineer Andre and he tried to fly to the North Pole in a hot air balloon. And everybody died during this expedition. <laughs> and uh, there was a scientist that found his diaries. And uh, you could tell of these diaries that Andre himself, he didn't believe in the project at all. But even though he was more afraid of losing face than death. So he and his crew stepped into the balloon and flew away and actually died. And I thought it was super interesting that human being can be more afraid of losing face than dying. I thought that surviving was like one of our most basic instincts, but, but um, there's something about us that makes it like this group pressure thing, a very, very strong and fundamental thing about being a human being. And I, this short film actually was um, also something that I developed and, and um, I tried to progress in the upcoming feature film, Involuntary. And in some ways it's also um, uh, representing the way that I like to work because I have very often a um, sociological topic in, in the background when I start to, to make a film. And Play was my third feature film and uh, was uh, inspired of events that took place in Göteborg uh, where there was a group of young boys that were robbing other young boys uh, in the center of the city for several locations. And um, I mean, when play was released in Sweden, it was quite a big debate and a big controversy because uh, one of the aspects of the film is that the robbers were black and they were black also in the true events. Um, and suddenly we meet an image that we have actually a problem to talk about. We have five black boys robbing three white boys. And I think one of, one of the reasons that that image is controversial is of course that it reminds us of an injustice in society, that it actually is like that. If you are uh, darker in the skin color, you probably have less education and uh, uh, don't that much resources that if you are white. Uh, uh, and um, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's interesting if you see it. My hopes with the film is that you should get in contact with your own way of putting prejudice in, in skin color and uh, what do we project on, on skin color and things like that. 